Right, the heel flap. So for this portion, we're making this little guy right here. We are gonna be working on just one needle back and forth uh, for quite a little bit. We're gonna take our cuff, which is knitted over four inches on three needles. And we're gonna start uh, right here as we normally would for knitting in the round. The yarn's coming from here, so I'm going into here, yes. And I'm going to not knit the first stitch, but I'm actually going to slip it. So I'm going to slip as if to purl. I go in like this and I slip it uh, with my yarn in the back. Slip and then I knit one. Knit. And then I slip another. Slip. Slip, knit. Do this with all of the stitches. Slip, knit on this needle. Yarn stays in the back the whole time. Your fingers might want to move it forward like mine just did because you're doing a purling motion, but it's a trap. Don't do it. Yarn in the back. Slip and knit. Slip and knit. Okay, we got 12. Here's the thing though. We've got 12. We need 18. Oh, what is actually going on here is that this heel flap is over half of the stitches of the whole sock, uh, which is 36 total, right? So I have that 18. That's what we're aiming for. So I've slip knit, slip knit all of these 12. I'm going to take six from this one over here. Uh, using this third needle again. So this is the this is you know where it starts to get weird. Normally I say don't use your third needle to do anything, but for this part of the project we you have to. So uh, continuing with your slip knit, you just slip one, two, three, four. Five, six. So you should have 18 over here. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, hooray. And six over here, yeah? Two, four, six, groovy. Now, for the next uh, lots of things that happen for the, for the heel flap. You're only going to be working on this needle that you did that whole slip knit, slip knit business. So you can ignore these guys. In fact, something that I find uh, helps make this whole ballyhoo a bit easier is I actually, instead of having these two flopping around the whole time, I really like just taking these six and putting them over on this needle. Again, these are just storage needles, so it doesn't matter. You could have four needles over here. It's like, it's just, they're just holding your stitches. So uh, one have two, one could have one. So I just, uh, I usually take these six and I just grab them and slip them over to this other needle so he can be the only storage needle. And I have one less pointy thing flopping around in my way, hooray. Okay, so here's your storage needle. Here's your slip knit needle. They look very much the same at this point. So if you want, you can take uh, two pieces of scotch tape. This is useful really like if you're gonna walk away from the project for a little while and come back to it a few days later, or if you're not super confident about knitting in the round, if you haven't practiced a whole ton, uh, or if it's been a minute since you practiced, this is just a way to kind of give yourself basically two little flags that are like, hey, don't knit on me. This is the wrong needle. Okay, so now we got our flags, we're good to go. We just finished our slip knit, slip knit all across this side, yeah? What you're gonna do now is flip your work around so that you can see, ooh, lay the bumpy side here. You're gonna purl all of these stitches, all of them, don't slip any, just purl. So you go down in front, over the top, scoop them out, and off we leap, down in front, over the top, scooping them out, and off we leap, and 
so on and so forth. Across the whole thing. Doopy doopy doop. All 18. It's nice kind of getting to switch to autopilot a little bit for this section. When you're knitting the cuff, it's very, it takes a lot of concentration for me at least to make sure I don't do two knits or two purls or, you know, skip one, drop one. This is just kind of pearly, pearly, pearly. So you can ask yourself questions like, are there ants on the moon? Or do horses get songs stuck in their heads? Without any real consequence, because you just come to the end of the row, and it's a pearl, because they're all pearls. And you say, oh, I'm done purling. Oh, look at that. Good job. Now, you just flip your work around. And we're going to slip knit again. So we go again, slip. Slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, <laughs> and you continue like this all the way across as before. Slip, knit, slip. And then you turn your work around. And you guessed it. Pearl all the way across. <laughs> now this is dragging out a little bit. I'm going to go as swift as I can so I can kind of show you what this is starting to look like and give you something to look for to know when you're done with all of this rigmarole. So purling, purling, purling across all 18. Good idea to check every couple of rows, count and make sure you still have 18 so you don't end up with any drop stitches. All right, purling side done, check. Now over on this side, whoa, sorry. You're going to start to see emerging, it's a little hard to see at this point because we haven't been doing it very long, uh, but there are going to be these V's that start to emerge, which are look a little bit different from your um, uh, ribbing V's on your cuff. They're going to be a bit taller, like this is the first one, you can kind of see it's a bit stretched out uh, because you're only knitting on this side, well you're only creating one every other row because you're doing that slip knit. Uh, you're getting one V for, per two rows. So what we're aiming for is from the start of this heel flap, which begins right here, you, you're going to end up with nine of these Vs stacked. There's currently two, one, two, because I've done two sort of repeats of this. I've did, you know, slip knit, pearl across, slip knit, pearl across. So I have two Vs. Uh, every time you do another round of that slip knit and pearl across, you're going to create another V. You need nine of them to complete the heel flap. So let's get to it. All right, you've got nine Vs, right? Yes, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's kind of where it started. And you've got nine going down this way. Matches your other one. We are now ready for the small heel. Once again, check and make sure you've got about 18 up here. And you should have 18 over here as well. All right, onward and upward. 